ever need one of those days where something cathartic will help you out? Well, Vampire Survivors is here. So collect some gems, kill some undead, and let's begin. Like, subscribe. As many have guessed, this is not my first game in Vampire Survivors. I have actually played this for quite a while, and in the backdrop, when no one else was watching, or uh, I was not running some simulation game. Well, I digress. Vampire Survivors is a great little gem. I think it's like four bucks on most of the stores, and free on Game Pass. But anyways, one of those games that just pulls you back into childhood. Easy to play. Not a hard learning curve, but is challenging. All I know is that when I first started playing the game, it was like eight minutes. I may be able to survive the first stage, but roguelike level up grab some gear unlock some of the new abilities and and amazingly the game just actually comes together somehow like go from getting hammered in by hordes of enemies just going to devour your soul and to just laying down the law with the <laughs> with with the seal of the divine <laughs> and when we uh, get the holy water and the kittens of destruction to take on the rest of the hordes. But, uh, yes, uh, I digress again. The game is actually quite amazing. Uh, if you just need something to relax to and play 20 minutes, 30 minutes and do a whole session, you can hammer it out and feel like you've accomplished something, or you can immensely challenge yourself with hyper and uh, hurry mode so that you're continuously swarmed regardless of what level you actually as it builds time two minute waves five minute waves bosses and then you're learning how to combine and create new weapons through with evolutions of the the weapons so the only way you can evolve some of these weapons is with the chests of course it's actually kind of a nice system but the thing with the roguelike is the further you progress into the game and the more you unlock the harder the rng is going to be on you to get the actual combine or the combination of items that you actually want to have it's actually nice because the chests give you a time like a little pause sync relax upgrade but you can also play the system with some more advanced tactics by farming a few chests leveling up what you need and then instantly evolving your weapons as well like I did here where I just set in a reign of destruction once I had the proper abilities leveled up and by this point in the match the, the game has become an, an auto farm as I just I'm a walking mage of destruction anything that gets near to entering the ring of death is repulsed and destroyed simultaneously so this is one of the examples I was getting at to just blazing through but actually playing at a higher degree level because of the way I combine these actually was a pain to re-roll some of this stuff and some of the uh, <laughs> some of the additions that we unlocked with the finding of the yellow card are actually funny because I really want to try some crazy combines with curse and hyper mode to see if some of these maps at my current skill set are even possible but that back to the meat and potatoes of it like this game's actually really good. It can be used for casual playthroughs or more competitive playthroughs if you want to challenge yourself or uh, ch challenge kill counts and survival times. So pick it up, look at it, check it out. You might like to kill some time on it because I've killed about 25 hours in the last couple of weeks. And that's going to be Straddle signing off.